Hi guys, it's Mrs. Tucker. I wanted to put together a video here on a different factoring method. This is uh, one that Miss Hensley prefers. So um, I think that I need to show it to everybody and I hope I do it as well as Miss Hensley. All right, this is factoring using the box method. Okay, uh, before we factor, I want to show you how we use the box method for multiplying. Usually when you're taking a binomial times a binomial, most people use FOIL, but you can use the box method. Box method looks like this. Create your box, okay? We need a two by two box or a box with four squares. Then you're gonna list the two sets of factors outside the box like this. See the two X minus three, it goes here. Two X minus three, or it can go down here. It doesn't matter where you put it. The X minus two, we're gonna list the X and the minus two. You can swap those two around, you're still gonna get the same answer, okay? Now, we're gonna multiply just like you would with a multiplication table. What's two X times X? Yeah, you get two X squared. What's negative three times X? The answer goes here. Three X squared, uh, negative three X. What is two X multiplied by negative two? The answer goes here, negative four X. What's negative three multiplied by negative two? Yeah, you get six. Okay? Now, one thing that I want you guys to notice here before I go any farther, because this is gonna help us when we turn around and use this method to factor, I want you to notice that the product of the diagonals is the same. Right here, two x squared times six gives you 12 x squared negative 4x times negative 3x gives you negative 12x, or uh, positive 12x squared. Your products are the same. Isn't that interesting? Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, park that in the back of your brain. Okay, so now that we've multiplied this all out, we're just gonna drag all those numbers out of the box, and then we are going to combine like terms, and our final answer is 2x squared minus 7x plus six. Okay, now let's reverse this process to factor this product. All right, how are we gonna go about doing that? Am I still recording? Yes, I am, okay. Lost my little thing there, couldn't see, couldn't see my numbers ticking off. How are we gonna reverse this process to factor this product? Well, first of all, what do you notice about the product and where it all came from. Right, this uh, first term here, your quadratic term, the 2x squared, came from that box right there, and your constant came from this box down here. So if we're gonna reverse the order, that's where we're gonna start, okay? Now I want you to try to develop a plan for factoring this trinomial. Can you do that? What do you think our plan is gonna be? All right. We're starting with our product and we're going to factor it back to this original, okay? We already know the first step. The 2x squared goes in this box and your constant term goes down here. Did you notice that? Okay, so did I. Next step. Do you remember this? The diagonal products were equal. Do you remember that? Okay, we're gonna keep that in mind for our next step. We need factors of 12x squared that add up to negative 7x, okay? Where'd I get the 12x squared? I multiplied these two together, my quadratic and my constant. So, I need to find factors of 12 that add up to, what do we say, negative seven? Well, here's my factors of 12. And let me see if I can slide this down so you can see it better, okay. Factors of 12, we gotta find a pair that add up to negative seven because I need them to add to negative seven right here. I think we found them. I think we're gonna use negative three and negative four. So what we're gonna do is use those two numbers and put them in the box and don't forget to include the x with that term. 
So I've got negative 3x here. What goes down here? Yep, negative 4x. When you multiply these two together, you get your 12x squared. When you add them together, you get this negative 7x down here. Okay? Now, let's factor each row. 2x uh, squared and the minus 3x, what's your greatest common factor between those two terms? Yeah, it's x. Take a look at this row. Between the negative 4x and the 6, what's your GCF? Yep, it's 2. Now let's factor each column. Between the 2x squared and the negative 4x, what's your GCF? Yep, 2x. Let's factor this column. We've got negative 3x and 6, what's your GCF? Yeah, it's 3. Okay, we're almost there. The box adjacent to the factor gives the factor its sign. So, since the 2x squared is positive, the 2x will be positive and so will the x out here. This uh, negative 4x, this box here was negative, so this 2 here, it becomes a negative 2. What about out here? Yep, since this 3 sitting right here is next to a negative box, it's going to become negative 3. And now do you see that we have our, our answers here? Yeah, we are done. Woohoo! So we factored this using the box method and got negative uh, 2, the quantity 2 minus 3x, which is this term here, and the quantity x minus 2, which is this term here. And that's your box method. Yay! Box method, yay!